What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Tomorrow is Father's Day. That's right. Father's Day is tomorrow. I want to say happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Um, hope you get to spend time with your kids as well as uh, hope you get to spend time with your fathers as well. So last year on Father's Day for my pops, I made a chicken fried rice video. We just hit 500 subscribers and we are knocking on the door of 5,000 subscribers. So that's right, one year later, we have grown uh, a lot. So <laughs> looking forward to some more growth. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Today, we are cooking chicken fried rice again. So a uh, little bit, basically the same thing, but newer, fresher video, and hope you guys enjoy it. And thanks for stopping by. So if you're new to the channel, wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you for all the support. We really do appreciate it. We could not have grown without you for hitting that subscribe button, thumbs up, and commenting down below. So everybody, thank you so much. Enjoy your day with your pops or your kids, and let's get cooking. All right, so we start off with our all-natural chicken thighs, boneless and skinless. We are gonna take off the fat pieces does not have to be perfect, but you just want to get the, the major pieces off. You can spend as much time on this or as little bit of time on this as you want. Uh, but I like to take off, you know, the excess stuff. We speed it up a little bit here for you. And looks great. Once we get those off, then we're going to chop these up uh, into like one inch cubes, basically. And once we get those cubed up uh, they don't have to be perfect again but you want to try to get them as uniform as you can and this is what they look like looks great next up we've got our onion that we are going to dice up as well and I know we're going kind of quick here but all of the ingredients and the recipe will be listed in the description below so we take our onion and we dice that up nicely um, we don't want slices. We definitely want dices on these because these are going to, you know, these are kind of like a small portion of the dish. And we are looking good with those. That's what they look like. And then we've got our carrots. Our carrots, again, same thing. We're going to dice these into nice little... I'd say half inch uh, pieces there. Speed those up as well. And once those caramelize, oh, they're going to give it a nice little sweetness to that dish. And that's what they look like right there. Next up, green onions, shallots. Same thing. We dice these up a little bit finer. Uh, chop, chop, chop. We speed this up as well. And. Those are looking beautiful. And there we go with that. And then now we get to the fun stuff. Our garlic soy sauce butter. So we take a, a stick of butter, a tablespoon of minced garlic, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. And we mix that sucker up. And it's a little pro tip. Let that butter get to room temperature before you start. Makes life much easier. And that's going to come in handy here, coming up soon. And then finally, the homemade yum yum. You take some Duke's mayo, um, about four or five tablespoons to start. We end up adding more, but that's kind of what we started with. And then from there, we go with the garlic powder. Uh, we add a, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder right there and then some ketchup about a half a tablespoon or a squeeze <laughs> whatever you want to call it again all the ingredients will be down below we've got two ounces of melted butter we've got uh, about a quarter cup of water and then we add a half a teaspoon of paprika I like smoked paprika and then finally a half ounce of sugar and man all those ingredients 
it's amazing. I have bought so much uh, yum yum sauce from the grocery store and it has never tasted like the ones from the restaurant. This one did. So this is a little bit of a trial and error because uh, I didn't want to make as much as the original recipe called for, but I ended up having to add more mayonnaise because it just wasn't thick enough. So I added more mayonnaise. No big deal. Mayonnaise lasts for a long time. And then, uh, so we got some yum yum sauce to go. And this is what it looks like. And oh my God, it looks delicious. So that's it. Next up, we fire up the Blackstone. It's ready to go with some oil. And after all that prep, now this is the easy and fun part right here. Just put it all together. Start off with our carrots. And then we add some onions. Now the carrots take longer than the onions. So uh, I put the carrots down a little bit before, but not too much because I wanted to get going. Um, with fried rice, you pretty much cook the stuff, take it off, and then put it all back in at the end. Mix it all together with the rice. That's kind of the best way because if you leave those onions on there, you could easily slide them over and let them hang out. But they will get really soggy after a while and I kind of like them a little crispy in my fried rice. So once they're 90% done, I take them off. That's what they look like. A little bit of char and then we're going to put them back on later. The carrots, like I said, they take a little longer. So we let those kind of cook up, put them in the middle a little bit. And we're going to give these guys some help to get done. But you can see they're already starting to get a little crispy and brown on the outside. So we add some of that garlic soy butter. Oh, man. Let me tell you <laughs> the smell of that. And mixed up with those carrots. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is some good caramelization going on there. And they look absolutely beautiful. But. They are not done. I tested them, and right now at this point, they are still pretty hard. So another way to make these done or get these done quicker is just add a little bit of water. You don't even have to cover them. Just put them in a nice little pile. Add a little bit of water. Not too much, but just enough, and that will steam those up, and they will steam up in their own juices there, and, and they'll be perfect just like that. And it really just takes a couple minutes after you do that. And then we're going to throw our chicken on. You put down a little bit more oil over there. Chicken is down. And real simple. I mean, the chicken, you just want to cook those, uh, cook it up. Spread them out a little bit. We're not really putting any seasoning on here at all. We've got seasoning on the, uh, uh, well, we got, we got the soy sauce on the, the carrot so far we're going to add some of that to these to this chicken and we're going to add some of that to our rice as well so that soy garlic butter that soy sauce has a lot of salt so there's no real reason to add additional salt uh, i would not recommend it because then you're going to come up with a really salty chicken fried rice and you don't want that so we just kind of kind of brown these up on the outside they're chicken thighs they cook pretty quickly there's that garlic butter just threw down right there. That soy garlic butter. It's got the salt in it. And yeah, now they start cooking in that. And that's where your flavor is going to come through. So a little bit of a close up here. And yeah, that chicken is looking good. So you kind of want to go through the chicken there and it's looking good. You definitely do not want to overcook these, uh, but they take about not too long, probably about four or five minutes. And then any kind of big pieces you got on there, just kind of cut them in half with a spatula just so they don't, you don't have a giant piece of chicken in your stir or in your uh, chicken fried rice. But yeah, chicken is looking good. We are about done with that. That's kind of the color you're looking for. And then boom, take them off. Now, I will say that I do usually cook 
multiple things together. For example, I usually cook the onions and the carrots together. Uh, I usually throw the egg in there, which we're going to do the egg right now. But I'm kind of doing everything a little bit more separately this time, and you'll see why in just a few minutes. Egg is real simple. Uh, no big deal. We're just going to scramble them up, put them down. This literally takes about a minute to cook these. You can see how nice that pan, uh, that, that blackstone is. It's like a big, giant, non-stick pan. And then after like a minute, whoop, flip it over and just start chopping away. And that's it. Nothing fancy here. Chop, chop, chop. And then we're going to take those off as well. Into the bowl. And there you have it. So now, the main event. We put down our rice. So some more oil there. Spread it out nice and evenly. And for this video, I cooked three cups of rice. And I used three cups of water. I cooked it in a Hitachi rice cooker the night before. Uh, put it in the fridge. Uh, I broke it up nicely as much as I could before I put it in the fridge. And then the next day... I took it out and I kind of broke it up two or three times, you know, just with a spoon, um, just kind of breaking it up so they didn't, it didn't stick together, and it came out perfect. That's kind of like the consistency you're looking for. You don't want mushy, for sure. You definitely don't want sticky. Uh, this is kind of what you're looking for right here. So the rice looks good. You put it down. You just want to get started with the cooking, and then boom, there's the secret ingredient right there, that garlic soy butter. We put down some more of that, and you can see it melting there. And then we're going to incorporate it in the rice right here. So now we're having fun. We're incorporating the rice into that garlic soy butter. It's looking good. And then we move the rice down to the bottom. So last year, if you check out my video on chicken fried rice, you will see I got a little artistic with the chicken fried rice. <laughs> so we're doing the same thing this year. So we're going to speed it up for you so you can see what we did. See how long it takes you to figure out what it is. Or if, even if you can figure out what it is. <laughs> Food art at its best. I thought this part was genius. Using the chicken. That's just me. So, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> did, it, did it do good? Did it come out good? I don't know. I think it did. I think it looks great. So, kudos to Big Cat. I will pat myself on the back. Now, back to business. So now we uh, start mixing everything together. This is where it all comes together. And you'll see within a, another minute or two, it's going to be the final product. We put our scallions... Uh, the ones that are chopped up down the rest of our carrots that we didn't use for the sunset we've got our chopped onions and we have our chopped up chicken we throw that down uh, I forgot to put the eggs in just being honest here uh, so we added the eggs later no big deal but we stir this up and this is where you have more fun with the, the blackstone moving things around stirring it up Hibachi chef here. Not really. Um, I was looking a little bit white, so I decided to add a little bit of soy sauce here. Very acceptable. And just give it a little bit more flavor as well as color. And this is where you want to go slow, though. You just want to add a little bit at a time. 
You do not want to get it too salty. You can always add soy sauce after it's done. Uh, but once you add it, you can't take it away. So I would definitely go slow with the soy sauce. And that's it. We just finish it up, chop it up a little bit, mix it up. It looks beautiful. And this was a success. Let's go check it out. got some chicken fried rice right before Father's Day so once again everybody happy Father's Day tomorrow and I uh, hope you guys have a great day with your kids and your fathers and uh, hope all is well and everybody's safe so before we dig into this beautiful chicken fried rice a quick close-up Yeah. <laughs> How about that for some homemade chicken fried rice? That looks beautiful. We're gonna give it a shot and let me tell you, I tasted the yum yum. It is yum yum. So I can't believe I've been buying it for all these years from a store trying to duplicate the ones you get in the restaurants and this is just as good as the restaurants and all the ingredients are pretty much already had. So let's give it a bite. Get a piece of chicken. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very tasty. Not salty. Mmm. Let me try some with yum yum. Oh. <laughs> That's the kicker right there. This is so good, you will not believe it. You guys gotta try this at home. It is excellent. So it's not hard to do, it takes a little prep work, but the cooking process is super fun on the Blackstone. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, which is great, because I love being out there cooking on it. And that's the fun part. So everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out. <laughs>